Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos. If you're looking to buy a Yamaha Clavinova CLP735, this is the video for you. Okay, well let's get started. We'll start with the voices. There are 38 to choose from. Come over to the panel and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so the first thing you'll see is we have two grey buttons in the middle of the panel and these make it clear to see we have two main samples. One of them is the CFX Grand by Yamaha and one of them is the Bursendorfer. They're both quite distinct. So if I go to the Yamaha one first, it's just a little bit brighter. And the same on the Bursendorfer. So the Bursendorfer has a slightly softer sound. If I play them together a bit closer this time, this is the Grand of the Yamaha and the Bursendorfer. Yamaha, Bursendorfer. So the sound is subtly different. And this is what you'll find. When you're playing a digital piano, you have the sound choice. You have all these um, sounds and samples to your fingertips and they all make a difference to what you're playing. So um, on a real piano you don't get this option and that's one of the beauties of the digital piano. So if we go through some of the extra voices you'll see we've got the, the two main samples but I can scroll through to other ones. We've got the upright piano, we've got the uh, bright grand, we've got the mellow grand, the warm grand, Pop Grand, Jazz Grand, the Rock Grand, and the Hog Dog. So all these sounds are going to be a little bit different and that means that you've got the, the variety of choice to decide what suits your music best. Okay, so we've gone through the main piano sounds, let's go now to the voice button. And this gives us all the other categories. There are lots of categories to choose from. Strings, bass, uh, electric piano sounds. And one of the new ones is one called Forte Piano. Now Forte Piano is where Yamaha very cleverly uh, created the sounds that were um, of a piano available to Mozart or Chopin when they were composing music. What they've done is they've um, sampled the sounds of a piano manufactured in a very different way. If you think when the, the pianos were made um, in the 17th and 18th century, they had very different manufacturing techniques and some of the founts and things weren't available. So the, the actual sound that was produced by a piano then is very different. And people who like to play some of the more traditional classics, this is available now on the Yamaha 735. Okay, so we've got two to choose from. We've got the, uh, the Mozart piano. Let's have a listen to that. And one of the things you notice is that when you press a little bit harder, it almost sounds a little bit like a harpsichord. We get that more sort of buzzy sound. That is rather nice. So that's the Mozart. We've then got a Chopin piano sound. Let's have a listen to that. Again, that sort of different sort of sound when we press a little bit harder. Because as pianos have evolved, that's made the sound get uh, better techniques of making the pianos and the sound has changed to, to what's been available. So the, um, the two Forte piano sounds are new on the 735 and make a nice addition to the piano sounds that we've been familiar with already. Now let's go down to the next one, voice button. Uh, electric pianos we've got. We've got organs. Now the organs are, are all kinds of organ sounds. We've got um, big sort of church organs. We've got the big uh, the classical organ. We've got the jazz organ. And then we've got the uh, faster Leslie speaker jazz organ. 
and the mellow organ. So it just gives us a bit more variety of what we're playing and we can choose a sound to suit the kind of music we want to be playing. If we go back to the voice categories, we've got the string category. If we go down to strings, uh, this is our first string sound. We've got a slow string sound where it comes in gradually. Lovely choir sound. And then we've got the slow choir again where it sweeps in. And these are particularly nice when we want to mix sounds because the keyboard allows us to put two sounds together, either on the whole keyboard or one separately at the top to the bottom. So if we go to the choirs or the strings, we can mix them with a piano tone and get a nice combination of both. Great for film music. Okay, other categories to look at on here, we've got a bass category, and we can go to different bass sounds. And we've got different ones with cymbals. Uh, let's go to... Um, and um, the final category we go down to, if we go to the categories here, is other. And in here we've got harpsichords, vibraphones. So a little selection of sounds there that we can go through and you can play around with those and mix them as you want to and split the keyboard. So a good choice and it makes it a lot more interesting than a conventional piano being able to, to bring all these different voices in. Okay, so we've covered the voices on the instrument, 38 to choose from. Let's have a look at the actual keyboard itself. Now on a, a real piano you get 88 keys and that's what the CLP735 gives you and they're graded uh, hammer action all the way through so the bottom keys are actually a little bit heavier, there's more resistance on the bottom keys than there would be on the top keys, partly because of the way that the hammer's got to strike the heavier strings. So if we go through and look at the keys themselves, they've got a, a capping on them. The, the white keys have got a synthetic ivory feel to them and the black keys synthetic ebony and that means that we're going to get a much more grippy feel and being the lowest mod in the range this one gives you uh, plastic keys where if we go to the 745 or 775 we're going to find that they're going to give us wooden keys which is a even better key action but for the 735 at this price point very very good feel of the keys and very accurate like a real piano um, particularly like this model range um, I think they've made some improvements on the 600 series so you do you do notice those differences and the, the keyboard action is called the Grand Touch S. Okay, so my third feature I want to show you is binaural sampling. This is a feature that Yamaha have improved on the 700 series and what it does is it gives you the, the sort of um, spatial sound acoustic effects of, of playing a real piano but through a set of headphones really cleverly. Let's plug it in and I'll go through what it does. So we can plug our headphones in, there's two sockets for headphones in the front here and the sound cuts out and we get the right ears into the right places and what it does is it gives you the, the spatial effect of the sound um, but through your headphones. Um, now even to the point where the, um, the bottom sound, the, the, the sound from the lower end of the keyboard is coming through my left ear. That's really effective actually. So it's, it's given me the sound, it's, it's given me like the sound is, is coming from in front of me very cleverly um, rather than just from my ears, but also we can get a, an idea of which end of the keyboard we're playing from and it gives us a much more realistic feel like a real piano would do without headphones. So really clever binaural sampling. And this model has two new samples specifically for when we're using headphones and, and they are um, optimized as we would call it for the sound coming through the earpieces. The fourth thing I want to show you is the metronome and rhythm section. Now, for people who are learning to play pieces or want to help with their um, technique of timing being more accurate, then we have a, a metronome and a rhythm section. The metronome can just be tapping away in the background, but you can actually have a, a bell that will ring on the first beat of the bar to make it a little bit easier to know where you are with your timing. 
and the drums will give you the full uh, drum kit sound. So they make it a little bit more funky. And we can even get a bass line that will join in with our playing um, to give us a little bit more in the background. So metronome first, we have a metronome button and that just taps away in the background and we can set the speed we want, but we can adjust the, um, the first beat of the bar, the bell that rings to make us know where we are with the music. Um, the next one along is the rhythm button. Now the rhythm, again, we can adjust the speed, but we've got these drums that play. And at the end of our playing, we can press the drum to stop and we get a little fill in. But the drum sounds are really good and there's 20 to choose from. Um, now the thing I particularly like is that when we're playing along with that rhythm pattern, we can actually get a bass line that will come from within the instrument to join in with us if we wanted to. And there's different ways that you can set it, but I've got it set to something called a full keyboard, which means that from anywhere on the instrument, the bass line will follow my playing from the notes that I'm playing. It will look for a chord in the notes that I've played and it will give me a, a bass line to follow. So if I play my drums again and I play a chord and there's my bass line. So great fun, and that will add to one of the 20 style rhythms, and it will just give us a bit more in the background and make it a bit more fun, which is what piano playing is all about. Okay, my last feature I want to show you on the CLP735 is its recording capabilities. And many digital pianos and keyboards do have recording, and it's something that you really should use. It's a great feature for helping to syncopate two parts. And when you're learning an intricate right-hand part, and then you've got to add the left hand to it, it's very, very difficult sometimes to get them to marry up together. So the recording facility on the 735 is really well worth uh, using. Now what we can do is we can set our metronome in the background to help our timing. Uh, that's a bit fast, so I'm just going to slow that down to, let's pull that down to 90. Okay, so my metronome now, that's fine. Then I'm going to record my first track. So I'm going to press my record button it tells me I have a choice of left or right hand in the simple record function. So right hand is what I want to do. And when I start playing, it will start recording. So I'll start my metronome off. That won't actually come into the recording. It's just a way to keep my timing easily equal. So here we go. Okay, that's now recorded that for me. So let's play, pause that, and it says, do I want to save? Yes. And it now saves it, and it's called it number 12 in my user memory, okay? Now, if I want to add my left hand to that now, let's record the left hand. So we hold the record button down, we go down to number 12, okay? And then we want to record left hand, so we'll go across to left, put the metronome back on, and we can now add to it. And the moment I start playing, my first recording will start again. There we go. We can now play pause that. And it says, do I want to save that second part? Yes, I do. And it's now saved it into song number 12. And now when I go to play it back, we can hear it all together. Now the beauty is you can play along with it. So we can actually improvise and learn to play along and add bits to what we've already recorded. So a really good feature, but it allows us to build on a, a song that we're learning or to improvise onto a song that we want to add extra to and learn to play along with things without necessarily following the music every time. So my favorite feature on the, on the piano is probably the record because we can now uh, use that to build up on our musicianship. So the Yamaha CLP735, we've got some great features, 38 voices to choose from. We've got the Grand Touch S keyboard with the feel like ebony and ivory on the key tops. We've got the binaural sampling for use with headphones, so it really feels like you're playing it as an acoustic piano with the sound all coming from the right places. We've got the metronome and the rhythm patterns to play along with to help with our timing, and we've got the bass lines to make it a little bit more fun too. And the recording feature. You can record up to 16 tracks and either keep it as a MIDI file for taking to composition uh, programs where all your score comes out 
on your computer screen or if you want to use the audio for making a, a track that you can burn onto a CD. So some great facilities. And if you want to know more about it, click on the link below to go straight to our website. And if you want to know about the model above this one, the CLP745, again, click on the link below and you can see how it varies. I hope you found this video useful. I'm David Cooper from ePianos. Check out our website.